Hello and welcome to my UOP CS1101 course. Here we're talking about the Learning Journal Unit 1. So first of all, it consists of two parts. You need to complete exercise 1.1 from your textbook. I've already done separate videos on this exercise. After that, you need to be able to answer some basic questions when completing your assignment. You're trying to print a string. What happens if you leave out one of the quotation marks and why? So you want to be able to answer that. So as you're experimenting with your code, see what happens when you do that. Next question. It actually is four su sub portions. So when you minus sign to make a negative number, what happens to each of the following? Two plus two plus two plus two, two minus minus two, 2 plus negative 2, 2 minus positive 2. What happens in each of these situations? And again, explain why. Next, in math notation, leaving zeros are okay, as in 2.0. But what happens if you try this in Python? And again, explain why. Lastly, what happens if you have two values with no operators and a space between them? what happens and why. And again, all of this is examined in the first chapter and I've already done separate videos both on the exercises and on the chapter itself. Next, part two will describe at least three additional Python experiments that you've tried as you explored chapter one. Part of what you have to do with Python is explore, examine, review, try to play with it to see what happens and try to understand what's happening and why. You need to show the Python input and the output and explain what you learned from the results of each of these three. So expectations from the live journal unit one. You will respond with the experiments that you've tried throughout chapter one. You'll also answer the seven questions from part one. That is the first question the sub four, uh, the second question is sub four parts, so that's five questions total, plus the third and fourth question make seven. Also, you have three additional questions in part two. So these are the basic expectations for your learning journal unit one. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.